It has been a rough few months for Highlands Community Church in Renton, Washington, as news coming out that their lead pastor, Jesse Campbell, has now resigned after lying about his DUI arrest. We're going to get into all the details of this, guys. Stick with me. Before I do, guys, a couple things you could do to help me out. If you enjoy the content I put out for you here on YouTube, I recommend you guys go over and sign up on my Patreon channel, where you can help donate for as little as $5 a month. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. The link is in the description. Right now, you get all the bonus content, but soon you might get all the content there. YouTube has been cracking down on me, giving me all kinds of warnings. So if you enjoy what I do, you don't want to lose me, I recommend you go sign up over there on Patreon. Plus, like I said, it helps to support what I do. Also, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, I mentioned it's been a rough couple of months for Highlands Community there in Renton, Washington. Well, it was back over the summer that their executive pastor, Derek Nelson, was fired after reportedly having inappropriate dealings with multiple adults. This did not end well for him. He was ousted by the church after the Board of Elders found out what was going on there. And then, well, it was just announced just a couple of days ago. As a matter of fact, the news just kind of circulating right now. The Elders Board making yet another decision, accepting the resignation, which this would have been a firing had Campbell not actually resigned. But the lead pastor, Jesse Campbell, resigning his position as lead pastor after only being in the spot for the last two years, he was hired back in 2018. What had happened was that back in January of 2019, it was reported that Campbell had been arrested for a DUI. Now, he admitted to this. It wasn't a secret, nothing like that. He let the church board know. The elders knew about this. They even came to Campbell's house. They spoke with him and his wife. He admitted to drinking the night before. Uh, he was snowboarding. He was alone at the time of the DUI arrest. They attributed it to PTSD, the loss of his son that he had suffered not long before that. Uh, not that he had an actual problem with alcohol. That's what they had determined at the time. However, after a church meeting was held around October the 22nd, uh, it was said that apparently that wasn't the whole story. That Campbell had been hiding information from the board. And after the board had gotten a copy of the actual DUI arrest, well, it showed a much different story than what Campbell had originally reported to them. Campbell did admit this as well to the church elders, saying that he did lie. He did withhold information about what really took place and also some other things that were going on in his personal life at the time that he decided to withhold from the church. Campbell went ahead and went ahead and resigned from his position. Like I said, he would have been fired anyway had he not resigned. Um, so this is just terrible what's happened with Highlands community here. I mean, there was a third pastor as well, Nick um, Del Gardno. He had resigned a couple of months ago after not really being able to trust Campbell. And he kind of came on, you know, against the board saying they weren't doing enough. He didn't really think that Campbell should have been, you know, restored in his position as pastor after the initial DUI arrest. So he left the church, so they've essentially lost three pastors now in the course of the last six months, uh, and that's devastating. They're working with another um, committee right now. They're trying another ministry, trying to get new staff in here at the church. I feel bad for the members that are attending here, but let me just say this. I really think that God is cleaning house with the churches right now. He is removing these pastors that should not be there, that they're in no position to be pastors. Not that they can't be forgiven, not that they can't be redeemed. We know that they can but they don't belong in the pulpit. And so I believe that God is doing a sweep. This has been happening. I've never seen you know, so much of this in my life in, in the span of one year. So many pastors that have either fired or they've resigned for all kinds of various reasons, um, like the ones I mentioned here today on this video. So we'll see where this all goes from here. But I want to hear from you guys. Do you attend Highlands out there in Renton, Washington? If so, I'd love to hear from you and just anybody else in general who wants to say something about uh, what took place here at the church with these pastors. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.